Hello Zonartos, I'm the artist Sudora Gasteleonti and I am a painter from Greece. In this video I'll be using the three Infinity Series white palette sets from Zonart Supplies. And I'll be mixing different colours in which will result into different shades of grey. I hope you're going to enjoy this little fun experiment and let's start. We are going to need the three Infinity Series oil palette sets from Zenart Supplies. Here are some of the colors we're going to use. I came up with five different color combinations that result in gray shades. The first one is the one that is more common, black and white. If you have more black into your black and white color mix then uh, the grey shades you're gonna come up with are is going to be darker and if you add more white than black then the shade will be much lighter and if you mix an even uh, amount of black and white you're gonna get a mid uh, tone grey. I am mixing using the number two spatula from the Renoir set. In my first mix I used an even amount of black and white paint and I got this medium tone grey and for this mix I'm gonna use more black and thus uh, this is a much darker shade of grey and in this mix I'm gonna use more white paint and the shade will be much lighter. Did you know that yellow and grey are the colours of 2021? If you wish to know more, there is, uh, there is an article on our blog. Next I'm going to mix three colours, lemon yellow, ruby red and cool but blue. And I'm going to try to mix an even amount of its colour. Yellow and red gives us orange and red and blue gives us purple. So the union of these three colours is going to give us a more purplish grey tone. The colour is a natural balanced colour that most people would describe as dull and a little bit depressive as it is often associated with depression. But also the colour grey could be timeless and practical colour. Artworks that are uh, painted uh, by devoid in colour and using only uh, black and white and mid grey tones are very expressive and nostalgic as they would often remind us of old Hollywood movies and old black and white photos also yellow and pink go very well with grey so when I was attending university I remember that our tutors uh, told us that if we're going to paint something that is uh, black and white we can have a few um, splashes and dashes of color using uh, a little bit of yellow somewhere and a little bit of pink. So this is a dark grey uh, colour we, we got and now with a little bit of white I'm going to lighten it up to see better how purplish it is. One of the most famous black and white paintings is Picasso's Guernica where he only uses black and white and shades of grey. In this painting Picasso denounces war and depicts a very bloody attack without once using the color red because black and white is way more traumatic and resembled the photos from the newspapers that were black and white. Next we got cadmium red hue and viridian. I think this is the most interesting mix because who would have thought that green and red would result into grey. The result is a dark, muted, 
cold grey and I'm going to light it up a little bit with some white to see how different it is from the previous shade. Next we got Prussian Blue and Vermilion. I usually like to use a lot of color in my work. I love using uh, blues and turquoises. Uh, how about you? Do you like painting with a lot of color or do you like this more natural tones like black and white and gray shades? If you would like to learn more about color mixing, uh, there are a few videos on our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, recently I made a yellow color mixing video, so make sure you check them out. If you're new to oil painting and like to know more. So mixing these two complementary colors gives us a warm grey. Now I'm lighting it up a little bit with some white so you can compare it with the other shades that we got. Next we have burnt sienna, ultramarine blue and titanium white. If you add more blue to the mix than uh, burnt sienna you are going to come with a more cool grey tone and a grey tone. During Renaissance and Baroque a technique that was called grisaille was uh, developed in which painters would first paint their subject in black and white and grey tones and then with thin transparent glazes of colors they laid the colors on top. I've seen quite a few painters that still use this technique. Also grey was uh, a very good background color it worked well with portraits and gold tones and that is evident in Rembrandt's and El Greco's work. I love Zenart Supplies with paints for the very beautiful creamy buttery consistency and um, I love the variety of colors. They offer you all the shades you're gonna need without overwhelming you because that's an art's philosophy that you can do more with a limited palette. And there are also more palette sets on the way, so stay tuned. Also apart from the amazing quality, what's most important is that they are eco-friendly and non-toxic. And that is good both for you and for the environment. So here I mix more burnt amber than uh, blue to this uh, mix. And that's a great we came up with. And I'm gonna light it up a little bit with white. And next I'm gonna show you what kind of results we're gonna get with adding a little bit more blue to the mix. Here are all the different shades we got. Some are lighter, some are darker, they are all different. So thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed our video. And if you do, don't forget to share a like and subscribe. And if you follow our tutorials, don't forget to use our hashtag Kids and Art Supplies on Instagram. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.